Taking a patient through a total knee replacement, a patient information tool. This presentation will walk you through what a total knee replacement is, why it is needed, the knee replacement waiting list, what to expect before and after the operation, the possible complications of the operation, results of the operation, and finally, a knee replacement patient story. What is a total knee replacement? A total knee replacement is an operation conducted by orthopedic surgeons where damaged parts of the knee are replaced with artificial parts, known as prosthetics. So why is a total knee replacement needed? The knee joint is made up of the lower end of the femur, which hinges on the upper end of the tibia, and the patella, or kneecap, which slides along the grooves formed by the femoral condyles. Some people, especially older people, develop problems in their knee joint. It becomes painful, swollen and stiff. This is commonly caused by osteoarthritis. In osteoarthritis, the cartilages that line the surfaces of the knee joint are worn down over time, causing them to rub against each other, which results in pain and swelling. This can lead to difficulty walking, running and bending. Other forms of arthritis, like rheumatoid arthritis and post-traumatic arthritis after injury, may also lead to damage of the knee joint. On x-ray, you will see these signs in osteoarthritis. The knee replacement operation will help to improve the pain and function of the knee. Surgery is the last resort when other medical options have failed. For example, weight loss, good control of other illnesses like diabetes, physiotherapy and pain medication. After it has been decided that you need the operation, you'll be put on a waiting list. Your position on the waiting list is based on specific criteria, as seen in this picture. You may be on the waiting list for up to 18 months since demand is so high and resources are so scarce. So what to expect before the operation? One week before the operation, you will have a pre-operation assessment at the knee clinic with your doctor. Your doctor will take bloods, do an ECG and an x-ray, and pre-operative planning, like ordering of implants. We will also take informed consent from the patient and explain the procedure, its complications, and answer any questions you may have. The day before the operation, you will be admitted to hospital for optimization of your medical conditions. You will also be milk or ass or not allowed to eat from midnight onwards. If you have diabetes, your diabetes medication will be stopped and you will be placed on a sliding scale of insulin by the nursing staff. On the day of the operation, you will be wheeled into theatre and have a drip inserted through which fluids and medication can be given to you. You will also have ECG leads placed on your chest to monitor the activity of your heart, a pulse oximeter placed on your finger to monitor your oxygenation levels, and a blood pressure cuff placed around your arm to measure your blood pressure. A urinary catheter may also be inserted to monitor your urine output. What happens during the operation? Your doctor will give you anesthesia so that you can fall asleep and don't feel pain. Then the doctor will make a cut down the front of your knee and replace the parts of the knee with artificial parts, which can be made out of metal, ceramic or plastic. The surgery lasts for two to three hours, but you may be kept in hospital for a few nights after the surgery for monitoring. What to expect after the operation? After the operation, you'll be taken to a recovery room while the anesthesia starts to wear off. You will also have post-op x-rays done. Thereafter, you will be admitted to hospital for two to three days. During this time, it is important that you start to stand and walk with help. A physiotherapist may also teach you exercises to use at home or at a rehab facility to, to strengthen your leg muscles and knee movements. You will also be given compression stockings to prevent swelling and a blood clot developing in your legs, antibiotics and pain medication. After this, you will have a two-week post-operation wound inspection visit a six-week post-operation x-ray visit, and a three-month, six-month, and 12-month post-operation checkup visit. After these checkups, you will have a once-yearly follow-up visit with your doctor. So what are the complications of a total knee replacement? Some of the complications include a blood clot in the leg forming, a deep vein thrombosis, infection, knee stiffness, and loosening or wearing out of the prosthesis. Your doctors will try as hard as possible to prevent these complications from happening. Results. Most people are happy with the knee replacement as the pain is relieved and the knees move better. The knee replacement may last up to 15 years 
And with physio, most people go back to their normal activities four to six weeks post-operation. Finally, we leave you with the patient's total knee replacement story. Uh, my name is Anna Otoman. I stay in Philippe East. My nearest clinic is Crossroads, and I have nine years of problem of my knee. Okay. Yes, I call a long time for my clinic. Mm -hmm. He transferred me from here, Protus Care. When I get it here, I get it a nice doctor, nice nurse. Mm -hmm. I go, I go for three, four years here. Mm -hmm. Last week, he phoned me on Wednesday. He said to me, Anna, you can come tomorrow, Thursday, seven o'clock. You come to get it in noon, to place mm -hmm. my knee. I said, no, it's okay. Seriously, I wake up early, five o'clock to come here. I get it, my doctor, it's already, when he coming, I already see them and say, no, Anna, you serious, you already in here. I say, yes. I say, okay, he take me there, come me to do it, this and this and this, to put it my trip, mm -hmm. and what, what, and what, what. I just waiting, he said to me, 10 o'clock, we're going to go to operation. Then I sit there, he do everything, put it there, and the plugs, what, what. Yeah. He take it, me to the x-ray by 10 o'clock, I come back on two o'clock. Seriously, my doctor is very, very nice. Very, very nice. Also, my nail, now I get it, there is a replacement my nail, mm -hmm. and I'm so strong. Strong. Yeah, and I'm feeling very, very well. That's good. Is it still sore? No, it is not sore. Not so. It is not so bad. Okay. Because I take a walk, I take a walk until there, today. Oh. Yeah. And I go, I go all over here. Sure. And before? No, I am not for. Okay. I just take a walk. I go to the toilet by myself. I'm using a walking stick. Mm -hmm. Yes.